Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Parrot Bros. Now today I thought I'd do a quick video of our breakfast meet. This is kind of like a semi-annual kind of get together uh, once every sort of four to six weeks where I can. Bit of a last minute one this one because I suddenly had a free day and the weather looked pretty good so it seemed kind of rude not to. Um, I'll give you a quick walk around. There is some tasty motors here, some really, really nice stuff. Uh, but before we get stuck into that, let's jump into the intro. So we'll start off with this 225. Now, yes, it has a V6 bumper. It also has some snazzy wheels, which let me go into the sun and you can see them a bit better. Now, the owner doesn't actually like them and they will be coming off. It's got the red interior. This car is relatively new to him as well. Um, he's done quite a bit on it already. Actually, he thought it was a V6 because it has all the V6 touches. Apart from the sound, there's no hiding that sound. We've got quite a few Quattro Sports here today. One's just left and there's another two or three here, which is cool because you don't normally ever see any and then suddenly you get loads all at once. Now this is beautiful. This has actually got a cage. I don't know if you'll be able to see it because it's sunny, but it's got a cage, it's got poles. It is very cool. Really nice one. In the Avis, it's got the front plate delete with a little plate on as well. Look at that Phantom grille. It just looks so good. Next on to a Roadster. No, I did not bring mine, I should have done. I don't know what I was thinking, especially because the red one, the aircon's playing up at the moment, so not ideal. But this is a nice, honest one. From memory, because I've seen this one before, I think it's a 225. Nope, nope, oh, my memory's terrible. It's a 180 Quattro, which is probably more rare, because you don't really see Quattro 180s, because obviously why would you go to the extent of buying the lesser engine, the smaller engine with a cheap one, and then Quattro in it? Six speed box, that's a later one. Nice looking car. Toneo cover. I love this glass diffuser. In mine, I use it all the time because it stops my beard ending up in my face. Um, quick, quick walk around the red one. Everyone's loving the wheels as per normal. Really happy with them, I'm not gonna lie to you. Really happy with them, they're growing on me. For sure, they're growing on me. And then I've got, oh, parked next to the double trouble. Neil and Alex, look at this thing, just every time. Every time, GoPro's not gonna pick it up, but the green and diamond face wheels, the poles, the gloss black grill, the V6, this is a 22, both 225s. There you go, look. Look at that, unbelievable. Beautiful looking car. Alex's 225, this is why I didn't bring my Nagaro one because it shows me up every single time. Um, it is, again, look at the diamond face wheels with the gray inset, unbelievable. Really, it's not something you think to do because they're not naturally um, diamond face, but it's a great idea. And he's got all the tricky bits, carbon intake. Look at these mirrors. Wow, if you watch Andy Charger's video, you'll have seen this one last week. And then I think Neil's one is on this week. Two absolutely beautiful cars, really well looked after. And then we've got car Chris in his Mark II. Mark one's in the garage having some work done. So he says, I reckon he broke it and he's yet to fix it. <laughs> this thing's a great looking thing though. Red and black is a very solid combo. I like black wheels, I just wouldn't have them because they're a pain in the ass to clean. But they look phenomenal. I'm also scared about curbing these. Look how close them spokes are to the edge. This, this is a cool thing. So this was at the show that we went to a couple of weeks back, Stanford Hall. Um, really tasty bit of kit. This has got quite a few nice bits done to it. It's got the, uh, the, the vented front wings. It's got the lower, I can't remember what the name of that is, but it's got the, the lower splitter that's quite popular. I actually thought about buying one of them before. Really nice looking thing, that black, really clean. This has just been put back off the road. How long has it been off the road for? Oh, a couple of years. It was off the road for a couple, couple of years and it's back on the road again now. Nothing standard. Nothing oh. standard. Is that yours as well? <laughs> no, this isn't mine, no. It's Stephanie. Little battery, uh, battery move. All the way from Wales today, longest traveled. Love it. No diffuser for lightweightness. <laughs> it's, uh, one of those new ones. One of those new ones. 
Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got this thing that was whistling. Definitely not standard, whatever it is. Two litre turbo, so it must be the TT engine. Let it run, yeah. This is Steamers and this is absolutely gorgeous. I'm kind of glad that he didn't park next to me because this thing is just phenomenal. He's got the gloss black trim. Everything has been done gloss black and it is flawless. He reckons he spent about 12 hours machine polishing it and I can believe it because it is literally like a mirror, like a red mirror. Really clean. Look at this grill. Just phenomenal. It's got the V6 touches, but it is a 225, and what a beautiful one it is. Oh, now look at this. We're going to walk towards it. We're going the R8 and that in a bit, but look at these. Look. So this one again was at Stanford Hall. Really nice thing. He actually bought it for technically £10 because he, he'd done a bet, and when the bet come in, it was two grand, and he thought, well, I may as well cash out and buy myself a TT. Really nice looking thing. Loads of tasty bits done to the engine. Proper work in progress. Done. Quite a nice job painting the rocker cover. You just see it in the sun. It's like a an orangey red. I'm wearing sunglasses. Um, <laughs> it's got a cold side relocation, so it puts the air back into the uh, the circuit. Pro Ram, all of that good stuff. The wheels have been painted about three or four times. Basically, every time he comes out, and he ends up painting the wheels again. <laughs> Onto this Java green one. Oh, I'm not even going to say anything about. It. I'm just going to walk around looking at it. Look at that. Look. Cupra, splitter, mud flaps, single wiper conversion, which is unusual. Don't see them very often. The old, uh, now this is a genuine color, Java green, very rare. I nearly bought one, a convertible one actually, but uh, unfortunately it sold before I got there, which I'm still gutted about to this day. That was about four years ago. Nice touches, he's got the calipers are in the same colour, front and back. Just a nice touch. Nice clean interior. Just a beautiful thing. Onto this one, we've got a three, it's a 3.2, but it looks like a Quattro Sport. And I actually thought it was a Quattro Sport when it came in, until I heard it. Um, because it's got all of the sort of Quattro Sport-esque look about it. It's got the wheels, it's got the top. It doesn't have the poles, but it has pretty much everything else. Cupra Splitter. I've never seen one of them on a V6 before. Really nice looking thing. And he said he likes the look of the Quattro Sport, but the sound of the V6, and who am I to argue with that? The V6 is a phenomenal sound. On to Roberto's. That's kind of all I need to say about it. It's very tricky. He is not one to uh, leave a car standard. I mean, look at this bay is ridiculous. Osa wings, or wide arch wings anyway with the vents. It's got a tablet, armrest, carbon fiber center console, big knob, ABT surround, Haddix controller, rear seat delete and an auto jumble, <laughs> as per normal. Really great looking car. Then we'll sneak over to my dad's, not a, not a TT but uh, a newly acquisitioned car. Um, nice looking thing this. I have always liked Mercedes convertibles, especially the compressor ones. It's a two litre supercharged, I think, from memory. Um, I don't, I've never even looked at it, driven it, nothing. Um, nice looking car, 28,000 miles from new. And if you've ever seen what my dad normally drives, this is an improvement. Usually it's French and yellow. So uh, definitely an improvement. Let's move on to some more TTs. There is plenty here today, look. There's Carl Chris in his element doing some filming. We got uh, <laughs> There is loads of 225s here today. It's a relatively stock apart from the Ram Air. And it's got a, a newer diverter valve and some, some pipe work upgrades, but relatively stock looking. Sort of a gunmetal wheel on the Glacier Blue, really nice looking. Oh, it's got a silver interior. That's quite unusual with these, usually they're black. Oh, genuine cup holder. Right, I'm done. It's got a genuine cup holder, that's all that matters. Love a genuine cup holder, me. Right, so next is this 225, I wanna say. Maybe, maybe not, we're not really sure. You never really know 
Um, nice looking thing, definitely an honest car. The roof's a bit faded, it's had some work done in the past. I don't know how well the camera picks it up, but it used to be black, now not so much. It's got a parcel shelf. You never normally see parcel shelves. Oh, parcel shelf. I need to try and find myself a parcel shelf. About five TTs and no parcel shelves. Next we have Wayne's car. Now, if you are on Facebook, you will probably know this car. He bought this for, say, £1,500, I think. 1500 pounds two grand. How much was it to buy? Yeah, I paid 1500 £1, quid. And what do you reckon you spent now? As long as the wife doesn't know. Yeah. About 12 grand. <laughs> <laughs> I think it owes me. Yeah. And you compete in it. What's the... Yeah, I sprint in it. I you sprint, it in, yeah? Yeah, I run it in the ACSMC Sprint Series. That's wicked. Um, runs 294 brake horsepower and about um, 318 pound feet of torque. Awesome. Standard internals. Standard internals. You crazy Bill, man! Bill said it was all right. Oh, Bill's, oh, it's fine then. If Bill said it's okay, then it's okay. That's Bill Badger 5, Bill. And it was a really pleasant drive down with this exhaust, yeah? How far you come? Not really, I've come from Southampton. Southampton, oh, okay, so a bit of a drive here. Love this. Look at that seat. You think it would be comfort, but it's uh, not so much, apparently. <laughs> A lovely looking thing. Everywhere you look, there's something being done. Look at the size of that splitter. If I look over the top, you'll understand. It's massive. You've got cold air feed, function over form. Looks, looks, works better than it may look to some. Look at that. Lovely looking bay. I like the green. Did you do the stripe? That must have been a right pain in the butt. I suppose you're following the line, but still. I bought it and it just looked too, too black. So I wanted to break it up. What are the tyres? AR1s? They're, they're, no, they're no, they, extreme VR2s. It literally yeah. looks like they're bald unless you look they're really close. Too, too close. <laughs> yeah. Are they good when they're hot, yeah? They're, they're very, very soft. So, yeah, they start working for about 30 degrees. And, oh, decent. Yeah, they're about as good as they get. Decent. Right, next we've got Charlie's R8. This was a recent acquisition. He used to have an RS6, which you might have seen on the last Hemel meet, and he swapped it out for this absolute beauty. With carbon, everything, because it's an R8. Look at them uh, ceramic brakes. Oh. If you're gonna have one of these and you're gonna be going as fast as it likely is, then ceramics are definitely the one. I've got to focus in on some of these carbon accents. Look at these, look. Carbon, carbon, everywhere, carbon. Look at that, look. Oh, beautiful. And of course, it is the V10, not the V8. That is the one. Look at that, look. Just hide the camera in there. Yep. <laughs> All this carbon fiber, look. Looks phenomenal. What are you trying to do? Oh, okay. The boot bonnet. The boot bonnet. Yeah. The boot bonnet. <laughs> uh, I've, I've, I did that. Um, Go do it for him. Yeah, do it for him. <laughs> 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 There's a button behind the seat. Yeah. See, he's done it the easy way. He's put the window down so he doesn't have to climb in. There you go. We'll do an unveil. Look. Oh, yeah. If you're going to get one, you've got to get the V10 in there. Look at all that carbon. Everything's carbon. Carbon everywhere. Look at this. Look. Oh. Beautiful thing. And then we've got another couple of Mark IIs here. So we've got a TTRS and then a, a 2 litre TFSI. Not an S. With the additional pack on. That looks so good with the white and the black. Big spoiler, I like the TTRS. It's funny because you wouldn't think they were TTRS wheels. But it's got the big brakes, it's a lovely looking car. It looks to be sprint blue, same as my old S4. And then we go to the back. The white one has round exhaust, and then of course the TTRS has the ovals with the black badges. Nice looking thing, this. Look at the metallic. Audi really nail their colours. Look at that, look. I mean, if you had a bit more money to spend and wanted something a bit more daily and a bit more reliable, that is definitely the way to go. And I mean, that's kind of kind of it with everyone here. There is one more convertible actually that I missed. 
Let's just sneak over there. And this has got, oh, I was trying to find one with smaller wheels on. So this is a black Roadster and it's got slightly smaller wheels. We're doing a wheel video, which by the time you see this, will have been done already. Cloth interior, which to be honest, isn't a bad thing because when it's hot, leather's not your friend. And I'm guessing this is a 150, just based on the wheels and the exhaust. Look at that, look. When do you see a little single exhaust like that? Nice clean looking car though. For black, it's really hard to keep black clean, but that is really nice. So right, yeah, a bit of a wrap up. Um, I just noticed one more TT before I wrapped up earlier. Um, so yeah, been a really busy morning. Not as many as the last time we had a meet, but this was book land about four days ago. So kind of to be expected. And I mean, it's one of those, if you look down, there's literally just cars, TTs, TTs, everywhere you go, trying to walk out and not get run over. Look at that there. Everywhere you look, TTs, what a brilliant morning. Just want to thank everyone for coming. Always nice to see, and especially because of this Java green one. Oh, I'm gonna have dreams about that later. It's just such a cool color. He just, just said, is that a respray? What a colour. But yeah, until the next one, guys. Bye for now.